Tyson Fury reportedly destroying and illing his sparring partners. We're going to talk about all that in this video. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you guys throw a like on the video. Share the video. It goes a long way when you guys do that. Now, we got to talk about Tyson Fury. He has an upcoming fight October 9th with former WBC champion, heavyweight champion, Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Now, the latest is, according to Bob Arum, he did an interview, and Tyson Fury is brutalizing and... MDKing his sparring partners. At least that's what Team Fury is suggesting. I will put the link in the description. Boom. We got action right here, huh? Boom. You never know. Tyson Fury boasts of K-I-L-L-I-N-G sparring partners ahead of Deontay Wilder clash. Fury set to fight Wilder October 9th. Tyson is firing on all cylinders ahead of his trilogy fight with Deontay Wilder October 9th. According to top-ranked boxing CEO Bob Arum, Fury will make his first defense of his title next month when he meets Wilder in Las Vegas. Wilder ditched his trainer when he lost to Fury, yada, yada, yada. Fury moved his preparation to UK when his newborn daughter experienced health issues and was forced into intensive care. And Arum said that Fury is set to fly out from England to Vegas over the weekend for the trilogy. He says, I talked to him, Fury, on Tuesday. He was shouting how great he's doing, how he's K-I-L-L-I-N-G sparring partners. He arrives in Las Vegas on Saturday. He'll take Sunday off and then he'll resume training at the top-ranked boxing gym on Monday Tyson Fury has been training twice a day in England, and Sugar Hill is over there with him. While he's been in England, we've done a remodel of our gym, so it'll be really spectacular for him because you got to keep up. There's so much new equipment and cardio equipment that we put in, so they did some you know, housekeeping and upgrades, I guess, at the top-ranked gym. There was a leak in the roof, and that's been patched up. That's weird that they have a leaky roof. The carpets have been cleaned or replaced, so the gym will look sparkling for the arrival of Tyson Fury. Wilder previously claimed Fury had been struggling in sparring, cites that the reason he pulled out of the fight. Fury claimed that he pulled out due to Rona, and he and members of his entourage caught it in the virus earlier this year. Yeah, it makes it hard to believe Fury. I don't believe what he's talking about. That's my honest opinion. The Brit will hope to set up a unification with Joshua if he gets past Wilder, whilst AJ will have to handle Usyk, yada, yada, yada. So that's just more UK banter. I don't care about Joshua and Fury because they both have tough fights ahead of them. Listen, why does boxing do this? Why does boxing continually act like oblivious, like brand new, as if things don't exist that do exist? Why are we talking about the next fight when you ain't got past this fight? I digress. I have real questions regarding Tyson Fury because at the end of the day, they say he's he's destroying sparring partners and stuff. First of all, that's what Fury is saying. Bob Arum is saying that Tyson Fury is saying this. So maybe he is saying that. Maybe he isn't. I don't know. But even if he is saying it, how can you even trust Tyson Fury because everything he says seems to be one big contradiction. He is a walking six foot nine contradiction. Tyson Fury will say that Wilder's a bum, and then the next day he'll change it and say Wilder is the most dangerous guy in the heavyweight division. And I favor him to be anybody in the heavyweight division. So it's like, which one is it? Either Wilder's a bum and he's spaghetti legs and noodle chicken legs and whatever else banter or he's the good fighter that you're 
preparing for. Man, tonight, right now, as I'm recording this video, it must be very hard to be a Tyson Fury defender. The man is literally all over the place. Everything he says, everything he does is all over the place. He's brought, in, brought all this sparring in, and why? He said Wilder's weak. Wilder sucks. So that doesn't sound like somebody who stinks that you have to get top sparring. He's sparring with a UK guy right now, Fisher, who's supposed to be a pretty big puncher, but he's not an experienced. The other question I have regarding this story from Bob Arum is you have Jared Anderson, who's pictured right there, and these are some of the guys that were in Tyson Fury's camp, right? His last camp, and then he got the Rona. But previous, so this is fast forward to the future. Tyson Fury is 187ing his sparring partners, but everybody I see him training with are UK fighters or domestic level fighters who haven't really branched off and, and done the big the big things in boxing. So this is what he's doing over there in the UK. But previous to that, he was sparring with the likes of former champion Joseph Parker. And he was sparring with, more importantly, F.A. Ajagba and Jared Anderson. You guys see, this is the article. Tyson Fury sharpening his skills with the next great heavyweight champion, Jared Anderson. Big baby Anderson is sparring, says Bob Arum. So this was just July of this year. As you guys see on the screen, it was July of this year. And Bob Arum was singing a different tune. So this is pictures of them from sparring. And this was the, basically, I guess the way to say it is Tyson Fury has had two camps for this second fight for this trilogy fight he's had two camps because he was supposed to fight in july july 24th and he pulled out he said he was sick first the rumor started off 10 to 12 people in his camp were sick and then that graduated and they said tyson fury was sick and he had the delta variant and then mr delta variant was spotted renting luxury cars and out and about in las vegas so again it's looking real bad and it looks real hard to be a tyson fury fan right now because all of his stories are all over the place all of the time he doesn't look like he's in better shape and why are you fighting guys like fa Jogba, big puncher jared anderson who shows a lot of promise and then now all of a sudden your current sparring partners are all domestic level guys so the rumors that you were getting sparring and you were getting bested in sparring by some of these other known commodities from other places in the world, like F.A. Ajagba and American Jared Big Baby Anderson, those were the those were the rumors of what was happening. And it's not even just rumors. I made videos about it. Tyson Fury, his face was looking all beat up. Tyson Fury, watch, I could probably pull it up. Make sure you guys smash the like button. Boom. There it is. There's my video. Told you I could pull it up. I run Google. I run Google. So I made videos about this, right? It was like, was Tyson Fury getting beat up? And this, these are all the markings and his eye looked like it was swelling. Woom, woom, woom. For more on that video, you guys could check that particular video. But Tyson Fury's face has has been looking beat up when he was sparring with jared anderson and then all of a sudden bob arum saying something totally different this doesn't sound like the makings of a confident team sounds like they're just telling you this man on the screen accused tyson fury of tampering with his glove as you guys see in the picture so i i, I can't really believe this coming out of tyson fury's camp because now tyson fury is literally destroying his sparring partners in the phase b or part two of the camp but previous to that this is what bob arum says we have a guy who tyson fury tells me a lot of people tell me will be the next great champion top rank bob arum said this is in july keep in mind the kid has nine fights now talk to tyson he gives tyson hell when they work out he's a great sparring partner so we went from july Tyson Fury sparring with more known names that we're familiar with, like F.A. Ajagba, Joseph Parker, 
and also Jared Big Baby Anderson, who has had some impressive knockouts on ESPN or ESPN Plus. And Bob Arum in July, just in July, says in the sparring, he was given H-E double hockey sticks. So he was pushed to the brink and pushed to the limit when he was sparring Big Baby Anderson. Of course, Big Baby Anderson denies it. There's probably non-disclosure agreements and stuff like that. So he probably gets paid too, so I don't expect him to mess up his money. But at the end of the day, it doesn't it doesn't actually fuel or or douse the flame of people who believe Tyson Fury was getting whooped and sparring henceforth why he had all those marks and bruises and black eyes and swollen eyes on his face and it does look like the Rona was a cop-out that's that's my honest thing I know for a fact that some people in boxing who are claiming the Rona as their get out of jail free card don't actually have the Rona never did have the Rona but that's becoming the new thing in boxing to just say you have Rona if you're not ready and then people are just supposed to um you know just believe you they just have to believe you because there's nothing that it, that's a weird picture this is a weird this is a weird picture this is this is really weird i don't even know who he is but he looked like he in the best shape and i don't even know if he's a boxer he in the best shape but whatever smash the like button subscribe to the channel no, I don't believe nothing that comes from Fury's team. Again, one minute, Jared Anderson and F.A. And, and that, let's say that group A seemed to be, from all intents and purposes, seemed to be giving you crazy work and a tough out. And then you get the Rona and then you go to the U.K. and do your whole training camp with guys like this that are John, like Johnny Fisher and you know, guys who could be good in the future, but they're definitely, is, why are you not sparring with like Joe Joyce or Daniel Dubois or one of the top? This is a, this is going to be a tough fight for you. Wilder, he's looking for vengeance. So none of this story is making up, making up sense to me. Um, Bob Arum, it's like, why is Fury, why did he dumb down his, his training camp? That's basically what I'm getting at. Why did he dumb down his training camp? If you were getting such great work, like Bob Arum said in July, and this guy was pushing you to the limit. Why are you not welcoming welcoming him back to your camp? Why are you not working with Jared Anderson? Why, like, even if you're training in the UK, why don't you fly him out? Why don't you fly him if he didn't do nothing? So it reminds me of Anthony Joshua versus Joey DeVecco when we heard these rumors of sparring, and then that was for the Ruiz first fight, and then we heard rumors that Joshua was getting handed and sparring. And then Joey DeVecco wasn't in Joshua's second camp for the the fight with Andy Ruiz. So if you didn't get concussed and beat up in sparring, then why didn't you bring Joey DeVecco back? So it's looking a little suspect for some of these UK fighters. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Like, subscribe, hate, whatever you want to do. We working. Do you want more content? Make sure you follow my socials on Twitter at Boxing Ego and Instagram at Boxing Ego 1. Yeah. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster.